In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model this reception desk. Uh, the technique will be, uh, first we will be creating the, the overall geometry and then we will be subtracting the inner part to get the desired look. So let's start. So first let's draw a rectangle. Uh, I'm gonna type uh, 500 for one side and 70 for the other one for the depth of the table uh, now I'm going to put some reference points for uh, for the arc that we want to create then I'm going to use the command called uh, circle tangent to three curves I'm going to select these points and I'm going to go out to see approximately where I want it to be like so then I'm going to trim uh, the rest, fix everything up. Uh, now I'm going to explode this curve, join these two. If he doesn't want to join, a trick that you can do is you can use control points, move it up and then just bring it down on the same dot. You need to have the uh, object snap turned on. Now go join and it will work. So the next thing is to actually extrude this. So we're going to extrude it uh, using extrude curve command. Type 115 for the height. Um, then we're gonna join everything and we're going to cap it. So this is the overall look. So now let's go to the side view to, to see how we're gonna uh, draw this curve here. So as you can see, this one is pretty straight, so the bottom one. So I will start from the middle, like so. And then I'm going to just copy this up a bit. And I'm going to approximate where, where it will end. So somewhere around here, something like this. Um, this will be the, the length. Uh, then I'm going to hide this for now. And let's do the same process. But before that I'm going to draw a reference line here. And create uh, a dot here. Control point and somewhere around here. Uh, let's use the same command as before. And let's approximately do it like this. Let's trim everything. Delete the, what we don't need. Let's see if this is all right. If we can join it, then it's good. No, we can't. So we use the same trick as before. Use the control points, move it up. Then move it back and join. Uh, now when, when we have these lines, we can delete the rest. Uh, let's unhide our geometry. And now what we can do is uh, we can actually, let's, uh, let's actually extend these a little bit in this way because uh, you don't want to have them exactly on the edge just to make sure that everything works so uh, I'm going to I'm going to extrude them inside and now I'm going to use a boolean split command to get this shape now we don't need them anymore and I'm going to create this edge here. So this means that we will move it inside for let's say five, minus five, like so. And I'm going to use the same process. I'm going to extrude this and Boolean split. So now I have this 
inner part. Next thing is to uh, move it inside. So I'm going to use move command here. Move them by five. So this is our, this is the result we wanted. And now let's, um, let's just trim this part in the back because we don't need it. I'm extruding it down, boolean split and deleting it. And this is our uh, geometry. Uh, I'm gonna show you now how it looks in the rendering. Hope you like it.